Supporters of Egypt's president have dominated the first phase of the country's parliamentary elections. But the preliminary results actually show voter turnout was low, less than 30 percent, according to officials. And many young people simply stayed away. CCTV's Adam El Marouki reports. 23-year-old Khadija al Shafai had high hopes for this vote. She's a campaigner for an independent politician and was eager to participate. So the low turnout has been disappointing. When I say to my friend, are you going to the election? They're like, no, and we're proud not to go. We're not participating in this. We understand the game. It's really frustrating. I feel that in 20 years I'm going to be in, in, in this situation and uh, we are the ones who, are, who will, uh, will rule this country, will develop this country. So if we, if we turn out from now, there will be no politics. The two-day ballot was the first chance Egyptians had been given in three years to vote for new MPs. In the first phase, it was voting for half of all seats in the parliament, but most people shunned the ballot. Even when the government gave state employees an early day off, allowed people to vote with expired identity documents and provided free transportation to polling stations. There was a slight change in turnout on the second day, but voting is a self-motivation process. Each citizen must be convinced that voting is a right and a duty, that he must participate in electing the parliament. Last time in 2012, millions came out to vote for parties allied to the Muslim Brotherhood, but that organization is now outlawed. This time, more than 70 percent of those who voted backed a coalition called in love with Egypt. Its candidates all supporters of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. A second election covering areas including Cairo will be held in November. Even when the turnout is low, counting the votes is still an exciting part of the election. And in this case, it shows who will be sitting on half the seats of the parliament. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.